We are working new details tonight on a serious crash that was first breaking on Eyewitness News at noon. Seven people were hurt after a car that was carrying an infant collided with a van belonging to a Jamestown-based group home. It happened on Route 4 in East Greenwich, just over the North Kingstown line. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell joins us now live from Ken Hospital, where many of the injured were treated. Mike, that crash is under investigation, but state police tell us the driver of the car that crashed into the van was distracted. Eyewitness News on the scene of a crash that sent seven people to the hospital. It happened just after 10 o'clock this morning on Route 4 North in East Greenwich. State police tell us this red car changed lanes and crashed into this white van. The van then spun out and hit the median. You can see there's at least one shattered window in the van. East Greenwich Fire Captain Tom Mears tells Eyewitness News seven adults who were in the van were taken to the hospital by ambulance. Five to Kent Hospital, two to Rhode Island Hospital. Captain Mears also tells us none of the victim's injuries appeared to be life-threatening, but he says two people did suffer serious injuries. Mears also says a woman and her baby who were in the car that collided with the van were not hurt. Several agencies responded to the crash. We've learned that people who were hurt in the crash are clients of Bridges Incorporated, a Jamestown-based group home. I went there today to find out how everyone was doing after the crash, but people who worked there declined to comment, citing confidentiality. Live with the West Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.